Black and White Network supporters, make sure you go over and check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. 25% off USA First. 25% off USA First. Go now. Midterm elections, guys. Um, we need to um, talk about the divide that is definitely going on in the um, Republican Party. Now, there's a lot of focus now on 2024 and who the candidate should actually be for the Republican Party. Now, Donald Trump has um, been going after Ron DeSantis. He's been going after the establishment. And the establishment has really been trying to um, elevate Ron DeSantis. I believe they want Ron DeSantis to be the uh, GOP nominee in 2024 uh, because they hate Trump a whole lot. Well, guys, now that um, the Senate is lost and um, the red wave did not happen, uh, the establishment is uh, blaming Donald Trump. And Trump is blaming the establishment. Now, to me, Donald Trump is actually a private citizen. He is not the money man to actually make these elections happen. They're blaming um, his pits. Now, some of his pits weren't, weren't good. Dr. Oz, not a good pick. Uh, Hers Hersh Walker still has a chance. But if you actually look at um, Trump's record with uh, candidates he actually endorsed, it's really, really good. And also the uh, the GOP may end up still taking the House and the projections are actually saying that. Uh, but we will have to see now to me, Mitch McConnell, Ken McCarthy. Those are the guys that are the leaders in the Republican Party. And I did a whole video on uh, Mitch McConnell. I'm not going to rehash that here. But anyway. Looking at what Ron DeSantis did in Florida votes, and that was an absolute wipeout. Charlie Chris had. No shot whatsoever. I mean, Ron DeSantis, what he did in Florida, that was prime 1986, 1987 Mike Tyson. I mean, Charlie Chris was beat before he even stepped into the ring. And it was. Now, guys, I've been watching uh, people on YouTube, um, channels that I do like. They've been weighing in. They've been having polls out there on who should be the uh, GOP nominee for 2024. And. This is what it's actually saying here, folks. Let's dive into it. Uh, poll GOP support shifts to Ron DeSantis over Donald Trump by seven points. Now, looking at uh, some of the polls I've actually seen on uh, YouTube from like uh, Officer Tatum and others. This is pretty consistent with those polls. Now, of course, those polls on YouTube, they're not scientific or anything like that. But. Ron DeSantis is the hot guy right now. He is. Now, I'm a Trump guy. I really do like uh, Ron DeSantis. I like both of these guys. I do. And I believe one of the reasons why you're actually seeing uh, Ron DeSantis now with a seven point um, lead right now is because of what happened in Florida. Florida went to a went from a swing state to a solidly red state. I mean, it is super red. When you when you flip Miami Dade, that is saying something right there. It is. Now, that's in Florida. He's the governor of Florida. And when it comes to 2024, will he actually want to run? Of course, he has not said anything. Uh, Donald Trump is supposed to be making a uh, big announcement tomorrow. And many, many people believe that he will announce his candidacy for 2024. And guys, I'm really looking forward to the media fallout from that because um, you already know left is going to be freaking out. You already know um, that the establishment is going to be freaking out as well. But Ron DeSantis, one thing about politics. When it comes to um, momentum. You almost have to capitalize on that. But like, for example. When it came to uh, Texas a few years ago, who was the guy that the Democrats were really, really pushing? They were pushing Beto. Now, Beto came uh, close in Texas with the Senate in uh, 2018. He lost. Then he ran for president in 2020. He lost. Then he just kind of faded away. He says, all right, I'm going to run for governor. He got wiped out. He got wiped out. Now, Texas is a deep red state. He had no shot whatsoever. But he did have some momentum even in that loss in 2018. And now Beto is just completely irrelevant. 
Now, I'm not saying that uh, Ron DeSantis would be completely irrelevant if he didn't run in 2024. But you would think that, hey, maybe I should actually do this because I have momentum on my side. And if he does that, hey, that's fine. And I'm pretty sure Donald Trump would continue to attack him. And I do believe I'm not saying that Ron DeSantis is establishment. But the establishment rhinos are pushing him because they hate Trump that much. And trust me. I really like Ron DeSantis. I believe he's going to be a future president. I really, really do. But when it comes to the midterms, the establishment is saying, hey, it's Donald Trump's fault. When I truly believe it's the establishment's fault. It is Donald Trump's record in the midterms pretty good. But the way that Mitch McConnell um, pushed money out there for Lisa Murkowski and not to other Republicans. Yeah, that's a problem right there. It really, really is. And um, Daily Wire, I actually am a subscriber on, over there on Daily Wire. I like that they're actually getting into movies and everything. But one thing that I've always noticed about um, like Ben Shapiro and I like Ben Shapiro. He always seemed to be a never Trumper. Some of the guys over there definitely seem to be never Trumpers. And now they're they're over there pretty much um, backing Mitch McConnell. There's actually an article over there on their website. Talking about. Hey, this isn't really on Mitch McConnell. Now, that's one person and their opinion over there, but. You guys get the point. So there is a divide right now. There is a civil war on the right and the GOP for 2024. But also when you look at um, some of the data from the uh, midterms. One thing that um, played a factor that um, wasn't really supposed to play a factor was um, the abortion thing. If you look at the exit polls. These young people out there going out there and voting on abortion and not on inflation or anything like that, probably because these guys are really, really young and uh, they actually don't have to um, really pay bills. We talking about like college uh, student ages, you know, 18, uh, 22, something like that. But if they were in and the Democrats, they picked up a lot from them. The overwhelming majority in that age range voted Democrat. But I'm willing to bet. If they actually had homes, if they actually had to go out and buy food, provide for their family, they probably would have thought different. But, you know, some Democrats are just going to be Democrats and they're going to vote. No matter what, for Democrats, they are. But there are other factors as well. There's some other stuff, too, that I cannot dive into here on YouTube. But you guys probably know what I'm thinking. Uh, Also, what's going on in Arizona? Yeah. But I like Ron DeSantis. I like Donald Trump. And that announcement tomorrow, I know we'll make a video on it when uh, Trump actually announces that he's running for um, president. Now, there's some people that think he should actually wait until the uh, Georgia runoff is actually uh, completed next month. And uh, by the way, guys, the the left is out there saying that um, the runoff now is going to not help um, Democrat voters in Georgia like it did in um, in uh, 2020 because there's a shorter window uh, to actually go out and put in like mail-in ballots and everything like that. So we have to see. But uh, Herschel Walker raised quite a bit of money. Uh, So we'll have to see how much of that vote he's actually going to get from the uh, libertarian that was actually um, running. The libertarian got on like two point one percent of that vote. And I believe that's pretty important right now. But Ron DeSantis hasn't even announced that he's running running for our president. And I don't think he will. I mean, if he actually decides to um, run for president. And I don't know if he even knows that right now. It probably won't be until next year. That's what I'm thinking, because he has to concern himself with uh, Florida right now. But Donald Trump is a private citizen. 
and he can actually, you know, do what he wants to do. And Donald Trump, I know he's still mad about 2020. I know that. He is um pretty frustrated. He's frustrated, you know, that the establishment um doesn't like him. They never accepted him. I mean, he's an outsider. This man actually came in from the business world, ran for one election and won. And they didn't like that. They did not like that whatsoever. But what do you guys think of this, guys? Um, The shift to Ron DeSantis, should, should he actually capitalize on this and uh, run in 2024? Maybe should, maybe shouldn't. Um, You guys let us know that in the comments section. I support both of these guys. I do. But I already said before, guys, that if uh, Donald Trump ran, I don't believe that uh, Ron DeSantis would actually win a primary. But as of right now, in this moment, that's probably definitely changed now because we're caught up in the moment. But in a 2024 primary, things could actually change. It could. So I don't know who exactly would win that primary. I'm still going to favor Trump on that. Just not as much in a 2024 primary. But these polls are asking people right now in the moment, in the heat of the moment. It's Ron DeSantis. And I've actually seen that. But that could definitely, definitely change, you know, because we got a while. We got roughly what little over a year and I don't know, three, four months before the 2024 uh, primaries actually do happen. And maybe uh, Trump is also going to announce his uh, candidacy because he wants to clear the field. But I do believe he'll have some people that come out and challenge him. I'm I'm really wondering now if um, if Liz Cheney's actually going to do it. You know, she's talking about she thought about it. Why would she actually do that and embarrass herself again? I would almost want her to do it. I would like to see her debate Trump in a primary. And get blasted. I would get a lot of enjoyment from that. I really, really would. Also, Ron DeSantis, because she is anti Ron DeSantis also. She hates Ron DeSantis. Not as much as Trump, but she hates him. Really, really does. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you next time.